All right, guys, welcome back to the best and worst of film in 2014 here with my boy, Jay Money. And we already talked about some of the um, categories. Let's talk about some more, starting with best ensemble cast. Okay, um, my runner-up, now I think... This would be many people's number one, and I can understand it. Best Ensemble Cast, when well, I'm trying to get to it, uh, <laughs> if I can find the damn thing. Oh, here we go. Best Ensemble Cast, my runner-up is Birdman. Uh-huh. Great. Okay, Ensemble Cast is a, you know, is a movie that has so much talent, and it's used to its fullest potential. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. But my number one takes the cake. X-Men Days of Future Past. This has a massive it has the same cast members from x-men one and two and x-men first class and they're all used and each character is significant each character has moments and they play a key factor in the story that is why days of future past is my pick for best ensemble cast okay well i'm gonna go with your runner up and say birdman pretty good pick i can understand I'm say birdman because it was um it was freaking awesome. Seeing, oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, a lot of those actors definitely deserve to be recognized for some of the Oscars when it comes to acting. Like, Best Supporting Actor with um, Edward Norton, Best Supporting Actress with Emma Stone, and, of course, Michael Keaton Michael as we'll Birdman. Yep. Uh, I don't want to give out too much away, but we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> um... I probably should have started with this next one first because I'm not the biggest fan of this genre. Best horror movie. Okay, I'm just right now, this has been a shit, shit yeah. year for horror films. This no, isn't my know. genre. This Let me just tell you, folks, this is not I my don't. genre at all. Well, I don't blame you because the horror genre today is shit. I mean, um... Jump scares piss me off. That, that's all it... Okay, uh, Devil's Doo-Doo. Fucking Devil's Doo-Doo, awful. Ouija, awful. Paranormal Activity, awful. Yep. Um, I don't even know if you call it a horror film, but it's a monster movie. I Frankentard. <laughs> oh, Frankenstein. Uh, Jackal uh, Untold. Should have uh, stayed people, untold. The, a lot of people will say the best horror film is The Babadook. The However, Babadook? I've, okay, I've seen the movie. Never the first half of this movie is fucking god-awful. Hmm. Because there's this little kid, I swear to God, he makes your ears bleed and your eyes, you want to rip your eyes out. The second half of the movie... It's one of the best horror films you will ever see. It was like I was watching two different movies. Hmm. So I can't give it to the Babadook because i got to judge it as a whole. My yeah. pick is actually going to be somewhat surprising because it's it's got a low, it's got like a 30% rating, which I don't understand. And that's uh, Deliver Us from Evil. Oh. That's the guy who did the movie Sinister. This is his follow-up. Okay. And I'm surprised it actually got that low. It was really well made, really good. And it's got a great exorcism uh, sequence in the movie. Really yeah. good mate. Yeah, so I... But yeah, like I said before, I thought the Babadook was so overrated because that first half was awful. But, yeah, this year wasn't a strong year for all No, of absolutely us. not. Um, but if I had to pick... It wasn't strong at all, but if I had to pick... Uh, I think I'd have to go with As Above, So Below? Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> I guess? I don't know? Like I said, this... You know, the Babadook, like, it's got like a 97% rating, which I, I, I agree with the second half. The second half, this one was like two different films put into one. Yeah. I see not, folks. So, there, I guess there you have it. I hope next year, oh, shit, next year we have Paranormal Activity 5 or yeah. 6. <laughs> that, was, that is the sixth one, right? Yeah. Technically. The ones was the fifth one. So fucking horrible, but... Yeah, I guess that's that. I think they're going to do the exact same thing Saw wanted to do, but they don't have the balls to do because they because they suck. Um, I think that Paranormal Activities are going to go on to 10, 10 movies and then stop completely. I'm sorry, those Paranormal Activity films are horrible except for one film. The first Paranormal one. Film. No. No? That's in my 10 most overrated films of all time. Wow. <laughs> no, the third one. The third one? Yes. You like the third one. I love the third one. Why? Because it had neat camera tricks. It had characters you actually cared for this yeah. time. And you actually felt bad. It's funny because the main late the main actor in the um in the third movie, he looks like Gary Del Bate, Baba Booey. Hmm. <laughs> he does. 
Mama Louie. Yeah. So, yeah, horror films, I hope they get better next year. I, I, I don't really care because it's not my thing. Not my cup of tea, but what are you going to do? Uh, okay, um, we talked about this a little bit. Let's talk about the best animated feature film. We, I think I already know what yours is going to be, so get right to it. Man, I'll see this right now. Man, this has been, you know, not too bad. Uh, uh, the Book of Life, very good movie. Lego movie, awesome. Big Hero 6, phenomenal. However, yep. this is the Empire Strikes Back of animated sequels. This is the best animated film of not only this year, but of this decade. How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is the best anime movie since Wally and Up. Hmm. I'll even go as far as saying this movie hit me emotionally more than Toy Story 3 did. And I say wow. that a lot for me. Because wow. Toy Story 3 is my favorite of the three. It's a 10 out of 10 film I gave that. And it was my runner-up for Best Picture of the Year. So, my number one... I mean, remember, if you watched the, the first movie, the way the movie ended, you didn't think there was going to be a sequel. Right. I can't, I don't, I don't want to spoil nothing. But in the sequel, it's like, a, dude, it's not like a totally different movie. There's great backstory. It's the most compelling movie. It, it's, it's better in every way than the original. So, yeah, that's easily my pick for best animated film of the year. Now, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I haven't seen either the first or the second How to Train a Dragon. That's, well, I'm probably going to piss a lot of people off. I'm sorry if I do. Oh, man, those two movies, they're, they're ranked among the best when it comes to Pixar. That's what I've heard. Not fucking good. That's I what guess. I've heard. Um, but, as for my best animated feature, I'm going to go with uh, the Lego movie. Lego movie because... Um, Great I pick. used to play with them as when I was a kid. You love the video games; they're freaking hilarious. And of course, the song "Everything Is Awesome." Uh, ooh, that's. Do I have that as a category? I don't know if I wrote this down. For original right song. Now. Best original song. Oh, well, I know what I would pick. The, everything is awesome. That's what I would pick. Mm, it's that, either that, that, either that or the um, Fall Out Boy song from Big Hero Six, Immortals. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I was gonna go with the the main uh, that one or the main song from the Hunger Games. The tree, J. the tree song. That's a great song. Yeah, I know it's getting played on the radio. It's pissing me off. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be this year's Let It Go. No, it's no, it's gonna be this year's Happy. It's gonna be played on the radio. It's gonna piss everybody off. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the Lego Movie. Freaking love hey, Legos. Why the hell hey, not? Uh, oh, what the hell? Are uh, uh, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. Those are the two guys who did that. The uh, uh, Claudio, the first Claudio of a Chance of Meatballs. They are the best comedic filmmakers working today, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. They are. They are. They're like the Christopher Nolan of comedy. Okay. And I know Austin will agree with me. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the best comedy of the year. Okay. Comedy. Uh, of the year. Uh, okay, I'll get this as sort of a runner-up, you know, because I'm surprised I got mixed reactions. It's like my second runner-up. And I saw this with my nephew. Holy crap, because it had a lot of controversy. We were laughing our asses off like crazy. Interview? The, inter the interview. That movie is so funny. It's like a raunchy, over-the-top, outrageous, already comedy. Kind of like This is the End and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh my god, so funny. That's my second runner-up. My alternative uh, winner, it came out early this year, Bad Words. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, and that's Jason Bateman's first directorial debut. Wow. Excellent. But number one, this takes it. Nothing comes close. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller's 22 Jump Street. Is the yes, yes, yes. I agree. 100%. Hell yeah. You know what? I'm going to add... Another um, topic onto this, it contains the funniest, the best comedic scene of the entire year. Is I'm not gonna give away, it's when Jonah Hill meets his girlfriend's uh, his girlfriend's parents. <laughs> Don't say what yes. it is. Just, just I was in the theater, everyone was dying. Oh and yeah. The oh brilliant! And the scene afterwards with Channing Tatum, brilliant. Phil Lord and Chris 
Christopher Will- Miller. They, I've said it before. They, this movie is so unique because they attack comedy with their own style of comedy. It's self-aware to what it's doing. It's like a, it's like a, a comedy, a comedy bromance, something like you know. And even though it sort of resembles the first movie a lot, but that's good because they're self-aware of it. Definitely. And the way they did the credits was brilliant. Yeah. With sequels and everything, because they're proving a point. Best comedy of the year. That is my number twelve or thirteen best film of the year on my on my best of. So for sure. Yeah, Twenty two Jump Street. Fucking Hell yeah! Really best awesome. comedy of the year. I agree one hundred percent. Uh, get rid of that. All right, let's see what's next. Um, how about best action movie? <laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about genres, so why the hell not? Yeah, I think we action. all know. I think we all know what's gonna come here. Well, I'll tell you my all, my 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 runner up, my close runner up, John okay. Wick. Oh yeah. Folks, Keanu, John Wick I is great. Was gonna suck. Keanu Reeves. That is his best role in. Years. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is like up there with Speed and The Matrix and all that in terms of action films. This is the best revenge film you'll see in a very long time. Probably That's since the it. first Taken. Oh, I think it's better. Than yeah, I think it is better than Taken. However, this movie is in my top ten. It's my number six. This is arguably the greatest action movie you will ever see in your oh, entire life. Let me it guess. The best action sequences I have ever seen. The Raid 2. Raid 2. Yep, we agree again. Uh, uh, Gareth, okay, there's two There's two Gareth. There's Gareth Evans and Gareth Edwards. Gareth, one of them did Godzilla, the other one did the Raid in Raid 2, so I don't want to get mixed up. Get this guy to do Mortal Kombat. If they ever do a reboot of Mortal Kombat, get this director. Or any Raid. fighting game in general. Huh? Or any fighting game in general. Yes, and you know what else he did? He did, um, in VHS 2, he did the short film. It's the third one. It's called Safe Haven. Not that shitty horror, uh, that shitty um, romance film. No, the short story, Safe Haven. It's the best uh, short story I've ever seen. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Gareth Evans. Yeah, awesome. This film contains the best fight sequences I have ever seen in my entire life. The Raid 2. Raid 2, I agree 100%. And speaking of The Raid 2, I have a feeling it's going to be in the next um, category. Best action scene. Hell yeah. Uh, best action scene, No. I almost have a tie. A tie? I almost can count every uh-huh. fucking action scene in the Raid 2, but there's two of them. The car, the car chase in the Raid 2. Okay. That was amazing. <laughs> Him unloading that fucking Uzi and that bike or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the greatest fight. The kitchen. The greatest fight. Rama versus the assassin. The kitchen the fight. The kitchen fight. Oh, oh my shit. god. Dude, it took them, I forgot, I wish I could go on IMDb right now and look at all the stats, but we have like two minutes to spare. It took them so many, it took them, I don't know how many days to uh, film this. It took, it took them six weeks to plan this story out. It, oh my God, the amount of time and, you know, uh, 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 pra- uh, practice or, I'm tr- I know, I'm trying to think of the right to say. Thank you, technique, you know, uh, rehearsals and everything. And remember, in the Ray 2, all the punches are real. They're all, they all connect. Yeah. They have to learn to trust each other and hit them in the right, you know, in you know, in the certain areas. Rama Frisius has it to not only the best action scene of the year, the best fight sequence ever put on film. Mm. No, no question. I can this definitely thing, agree with that. When I saw this in the theaters after Zora, I literally stood up and applauded. I couldn't believe it. I was, I was, my, my fucking jaw hit the ground like I was Jim Carrey from The Mask. <laughs> okay, <laughs> unbelievable. This is a fight scene where you can watch it over and over. It's like Petey Williams, the Canadian, the Destroyer. You can watch it so many times, and you're going to be blown away every time you see it. Definitely. Mm-hmm. For sure, it's the best action f- scene I've seen in a long time. In a long time, and that's mm-hmm. why that's our pick for the best action fight scene coming up next. We're going to dive into a bunch more categories, so stick around for the best and worst in film in 2014.